So this is the sixth track day for me and my fourth one with Eva, my Ducati 848 Evo. Each day up until now I've had a thing I wanted to focus on but not today. Um, today's plan is just to do a bit of consolidation. So. I had been working on body position, um, getting my bum off the seat, upper body position and um, not coasting on the brakes or on the throttle and I was also playing around a little bit with pinning it down the straight too as much as I can because this um, I don't have a quick action throttle and my, my arm just can't get the full range of um, travel through the throttle so uh, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get one eventually but anyway today is consolidation I'm just gonna relax have fun and play with all the things I have been learning no other goals other than that consolidation done. What I wanted to focus on then was just counting my gears because the 848 does not have a, a gear in, uh, select in indicator and I uh, always seem to be losing track. Well not always but when it matters. Um, I've lost track a few times, been in third when I wanted to be in second, been in first when I wanted to be in second. So it does take a little bit of um, getting used to I think just having that automatic gear counting in my head but that was all right. Um, made it most of the time so I think I only made two little boo-boos and they, none of them were dire so that's good um, I had to remind myself to um, let the tyres warm up for a couple of laps but that's good I didn't forget and then the bike felt great um, and interestingly I already start feeling um, automatically thinking about body position better so I hadn't intended to even give that a thought through the first session um, but given that it's already naturally coming into my mind it's probably not a bad thing so the second session is coming up soon and I think I think I might just um, just treat that like another observation session and not try to work on anything in particular uh, because if the body position stuff is just coming to me naturally maybe Maybe uh, the other things I've been practicing throughout the year will come we'll together to when I need them. We'll see.
second session done. We're running a bit late today because just about every session, almost every group is having a crash, which is making me switch on my um, attention a little bit more to focus and riding smoother. And it has been feeling really good, actually. Uh, that second session felt, uh, well, fairly quick for me, I suppose. Uh, certainly was hitting high speed down this way than I ever have. And uh, still gradually progressing with the body position thing, getting my bum and my upper body off the bike. That's certainly feeling um, a lot more confidence inspiring through the corners. But yeah, it's going well. I'm really enjoying a day of consolidation and not really focusing on one thing and just letting it, it unfold quite naturally. It's a fun. session three done. Um, that was a fun one. It felt smooth, it felt fast for me. I mean, I'm, I'm in blue group here, which is intermediate, so I'm not a fast rider, but it's all relative. Hey, like, that's why we do this, because there's always something to improve, and um, the more speed we get, the more speed we can enjoy. Um, I was trying to get my upper body off more. Um, I had the camera on the back of the bike, uh, but it still looks like I'm just not getting my head over enough. It doesn't feel that way, so I don't know whether that's just a camera issue, like the camera angle, um, but, uh, but I'll just keep working on it. It definitely feels better when I do really hang off the bike, although I find I'm probably still a little bit chicken. <laughs> I'm finding I'm still a little bit chicken of my boot touching down again, um, and maybe even my knee, I'm kind of pulling my leg up. I know I'm getting a, a fair amount of lean, which uh, is interesting, um, something to work on. I'm also getting a little bit uh, quicker on the throttle uh, and getting higher speeds on the straights. And what that's meaning is that I'm breaking harder into the turns. Uh, so um, I don't want my corner entry speeds to be too high. Uh, so I'm trying to be a bit careful about that. Maybe in my next track day, I, I might make breaking um, my focus just to, to get a really good feel for these brakes on the 848 um, and practice braking later and harder into the turns to, to really get a good feel for that. And then I won't feel so um, concerned about backing off my speed uh, at the end of the straights quite as much. All going well, I'm having fun, the bike's doing awesome. Uh, I think we might have another two sessions today, we'll see how that goes.
the different camera angles. Right now, you are sitting on the right-hand side fairing of Eva. Um, I, I don't know what that footage is going to do for me, but I just thought it'd be fun playing around. So I finished the fourth session, and um, it felt really good. Um, why? Uh, I guess because. I'm just feeling confident and smooth and more conscious and aware of little pieces of the technique of like getting my, my body off the bike. I, it still doesn't feel like it's going to come very naturally and no doubt I'm going to need some training to really understand what I'm doing wrong and how to improve it. But whatever I am doing is certainly making it feel uh, better through corners. Uh, I do have the California Superbike School coming up uh, next month, so hopefully that will give me some pointers as well, we'll see. Um, but anyway, the, the whole fun of doing this, apart from riding my bike as fast as I want to, uh, is learning and noticing the difference in the learning. So my fifth session, I'm going to just take it pretty easy actually, more experimenting with this new camera angle uh, and winding down for the day, but uh, I will keep working a little bit on, on just sort of getting my head to follow my body off the bike. We'll see how that goes. done. I ended up only doing about four laps I think because I could start feeling the mental fatigue uh, and we had so many crashes today that I, I really didn't want to push my luck. But um, amazing day. I think probably the biggest takeaway for me uh, is that even though I know there's so much to learn and I can go so much faster um, with more skill is that I can. Um, it's just this feeling of each time I come, it just feels a bit smoother, a bit quicker, some corners feel a bit easier um, and I feel more aware and attuned, I guess, to what I'm doing on the bike and what the bike's doing. So today, probably for the first time, I can feel how um, I can probably get faster and, and end up maybe moving into green group um, one day, certainly not this year. But uh, yeah, very, very satisfying day, very fun day absolutely love the 848 uh, since I got a new steering damper for it which I don't think I've mentioned um, it's adjustable the stock one's not and I've got it adjusted so that uh, I'm still not getting any head shake out of corners but 
she's just so much easier to turn than she was before. So that that's some um, confidence inspiring too. Especially coming out of the bus stop here at Lakeside, uh, it's quite a sharp right hand turn, and I always had trouble pushing her around there. Uh, but that's getting uh, a bit easier now, which is great. So yeah, awesome day. Um, love the fact that I keep learning and keep having fun. I'm not pushing it. I'm not trying not to let my ego get involved. So I'm not worried about lap times. Um, I did collect some GPS data today, so we will see if I, well, I haven't gotten home yet, but we'll see if I um, got enough to load into race chrono and actually see uh, what speeds I was doing, lean angles and stuff like that. That is more so that as I learn new skills, I can maybe measure the impact of them, the effect of them. Uh, and that won't all be about lap times, ultimately maybe, but uh, for now it's just uh, breaking down the track into segments and just seeing how I'm, how I'm doing as I learn more. So yeah, awesome stuff. See you next time.